Hi guys, my name is Tim, and today we're going to be playing Quirk uh, tw Testing Place, you know, Steve's Quirk Testing Place, and I'm going to show you the different quirks and their different abilities. I uh, probably shouldn't have deleted what I had on this, because this guy is a one for all main for sure, and we're going to go ahead and try to destroy him as best we can. Huh. How? Okay, like... The amount of lag on this kid's side is ridiculous. Like, yeah, he's doing well, and he's playing one for all, much like I would. Right, he's got the move. Which... Right, now he's on cooldown, so I can be as aggressive as I like. Until that happens, and now I'm dead. Alright, guys. So the moves here are... Your Z. Your X. And of course, there's your C, which is this, but I'm not going to use that to approach anyone aggressively. That would be suicide. Move that way away from the smash. Thank you. It's hard to fight a one for all because of the distance that they can that they can get. All right, good. Once he uses this, he's going to expect me to come close and use that. Which, of course, hits me when I can't hit him. How is he not dead, is the real question. How come I'm so much closer to dead than he is? Well, how is he not dead now? How am I not dead? Okay, I'm kind of like done right now with honestly this. Because my health is like nothing and I've shown you very little. Alright, Z, X, C is your slide. This is your, uh, wait. This is your V. This is your Z. This is X, followed by C. C does a lot of damage. Uh, as you can see, my stun rotation is a little bit ridiculous. Um, and that guy who was using one for all? Yeah, he knows how to use one for all. I have a slight change of opinion. Alright, shouldn't have come after me. Dude, not with explosion. Like, I put you down. <laughs> He's going for one for all now. One for all versus hot and cold. One for all has the advantage because of the range that one for all has. Like, if you know how to use one for all, you have so huge an advantage against... Alright, I just shouldn't let... Alright, one... First off. I'm just gonna whoosh that real quick. I don't know what his quirk is, but... Okay. He's only gonna stop going for it when he gets his... You see the guy who keeps resetting in the middle? He's going for one for all. He only wants to play one for all. So, that's all he's going to go for. I kind of don't want to let him have it because he's just, just so... I don't know. He's so hard to beat when he's... Oh, he got half and half. I'm surprised he would settle for half and half. Oh, well, now he's using my combo. Alright, he's really good, and lag is on his side, as far as I can tell. So we'll see. Alright, did I actually get that? I think I did. But I missed basically everything else, so. Huh. Huh. Gotcha. Big ol' burst. Come on. Use X, use X, use X, use X, use X. Huh. Pow. Pow. Die. Also, you die too. Everyone dies. Everybody dead. Because the combo, guys. Let me tell you the combo. I noticed I didn't do this previously. It's either Z or X, depending on whichever freeze you get first. So... Z, B, C, B, X, B, X, and then if you get your C back up, you use C. 
So one more time, you start on ice, you want to use Z or X as your starting move to get your first freeze. So you get your first freeze, then you switch quickly, you use your fire, you switch again, and then you use this to do the next part of the freeze. Trust me. You don't want to pick a fight with a, uh, with an ice, my dude. Pow. There's very... If, unless you're playing one for all, or, yeah, unless you're playing one for all, your chances against an ice user are not very high. Because ice user can basically kill anyone who's melee range. Like, watch. I will just obliterate this person's health real quick. I could just choose, especially at half health. Basically, oh, he's got half and half now. But you used your cooldown. Which means you're off your cooldown. Alright, let's see. Whoa! 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 Move! Back! He's aggressive. When you have an aggressive player like this who's going for you, there's a couple moves you can use. X is a good one to use for people who charge you aggressively. Because they plan to just charge like directly into whatever you're doing and they'll just get themselves killed <laughs> oh gosh there's an explosion user but he's not going for me so that's all good uh i showed you the combo and i've been showing you the combo i think you can sufficiently get out there and just start working a big part of this fighting is knowing what quirk your opponent has and knowing what to watch out for for ice you need to watch out for the z it's a range stun. If you get stunned, chances are you're going to die. So you got to bait it out and then go for the best kill that you can. Um, for explosion, there's, well, the B that you have. Basically, they're going to be aggressive mostly, most likely. So it's not really worth, okay. There's no need to actually fight that guy. I've crushed his spirits enough and he doesn't have a strong enough quirk. Yeah, I think he just realized he doesn't have a strong enough quirk to bring my attention. If he had one for all explosion... Like, I guess that works. Ugh. Ice is just so strong. One for all is... Yeah, there it is. There's the one for all that I've been dreading. Alright, you gonna actually do this? Alright, I'm gonna trade into your next move so I can get this stun. Crap, I'm using the wrong ability. Pow! What? Alright, you guys must have seen that lag right there. Alright, now he's gotta wait. Use your C, dude. Ow, okay, he timed that. He timed out! Okay, understandable. I don't think he left, I think he timed out. Um, alright. Everybody did. Pale. So. So I might have sufficiently shown you. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Alright. I'm not gonna do well here. If you're going to be super aggro, dude, then all you can blame is yourself for dying. Ow, I wasn't super aggro, I got exploded. Unfortunately, but explosion is next on the list, guys, and I got it, like, immediately. So, okay, you want to fight? Pow, explosions. Pow, explosions. Pow, explosions. And he's dead. All right, let me show you your moves once they're off cooldown. Uh, Z is your explos explosive, like, increased form. X is an explosive punch. C is your forward dash. Uh, you can hold that in for a while, but not infinitely. V is your um, nice forward explosion. And B is your nice big damage and launch into the air so that basically you can fly, which is awesome. Now... If this is an overhaul, I kind of feel like exploding him along with his friend. 
exploding him along with the other explosion because, you know, that's just what I feel like doing. Because I don't like overhaul. Alright. Hi <sighs> you poof right in your face. Expl I mean, I didn't actually kill him just now. Alright. Taking out the explosion is lag priority. Yeah, that makes sense. There's a bit of lag going on right okay. I could just blow them both up. I got explosions in Atlanta. Whoop it up, leap with the fan. That dude just walked off the edge. Hmm. Oh. There is a one for all. Which, unfortunately for him, is actually not as strong as explosion, in my opinion. Actually, that's not quite true. I think, ex I think one for all might be stronger, given the proper use. Well, Crudola, I need to get the heck out of Dodge, because my health is not so looking, not looking so hot. Big ol' explosions, oh crud. Come on, last long enough for my B, last long enough for my B. Nope, I'm dead. Off the map I go. Well, I showed you how to play explosion, that was kind of fun, so maybe I'll get one for all next? Yeah, I'm gonna go for one for all next, which I actually, I used to think hot and cold, I thought explosion was the strongest, I thought hot and cold was the strongest, but one for all might actually be the strongest because it has the most range out of all the rest of them like yeah you can get a one shot with uh, hot and cold but if you stay out of the range of that hot and cold then you're basically fine and explosion can do damage yeah but one for all can do just as much damage sure it's on a longer cooldown but it can do just as much damage at like thir three four times the range which just basically means one for all might be legitimately better. It can do all of the same moves with the same amount of damage, but at greater ranges than Explosion. Like, Explosion is fun, but I honestly think one for all is stronger than both of them. Like, watch. Pow. He did that. He did the same amount of damage with his ranged as mine did, but I can shoot mine across the map. Which, I mean, basically just gives me a ridiculous advantage. Like, the animation is even the same for the two moves. Oh gosh. Ye Plus, one for all has kind of a better escape move with that C. In my opinion, that is. Only difference is, I think... One for all can't take down a overhaul. That was bad. Don't worry, friend. Oh gosh. I thought he was dead. <laughs> now he is, though. Get knocked off the map, thank you. Because nobody likes an overhaul. Overhaul or OP and dumb. I haven't shown you any. I've shown you the moves, but I haven't listed them out yet. So, there's your Z, which is your hand pistol, basically. You can use that a couple times before it goes red. Then, there is your X, which is your big smash that you saw me use. That's the nice, powerful, ranged smash. Then there's your C, which is your uh, foot launch right there, which you saw me use to get away from the half and half, you know, cold. And then there's V, which is your upward launch. I'm still going to use this to go ahead and get away while I'm doing that. That was your V, was your upward thing. Now, I need to get my cloak on before this half and half shows up. Pow. Alright, I need to stay... I need to not have gotten hit by that, honestly. Yeah, I get it. You're trying to put a lot of damage into me. That's cool. But I'm not going to let you do that. In fact, well, all that's going to happen is I'm going to put a lot of damage into you. Pow. Okay, I hit him pretty hard, but I keep getting caught. Pow. All right. I keep getting caught. If he wasn't so bad, I would be dead by now. Thankfully, he's pretty bad. 
he doesn't know the combo quite yet. I kind of figured out this combo like two days ago and started using it like obsessively, so now it's become meta. And yes, I'm fairly sure the combo started with me. I don't know why he's coming directly for me without a good quirk. Like, I don't know what he expects out of his little lightning quirk there, but we shouldn't expect much. Okay, there we go. Wow, he's actually, like, wait. Can I not move? Yeah, his punches legitimately stunned me. I had no idea that electricity was so strong. Well then, I guess I should take him a bit more seriously, shouldn't I? Oh, crud. <laughs> There's nothing I even need to do but just Detroit smash him into non-existence, though. See, One For All is so strong just because of the amount of range it has. Not because it doesn't do... Oh, gosh. There's the explosion guy. Just because of the amount of range it has. And it could do very similar trades at point-blank ranges. Huh. Come on. You're not going to launch me off the map that easy. Oh, I thought I was way out of that range right there. Uh, he was so aggressive and mad at me. Okay. But you guys saw. I was... I killed him a couple times. I was at, like, half health when I almost killed him. And he's very angry at me now. Apparently. I mean, I just have overhaul, which means he's gonna have... A, he's gonna be pretty hard-pressed to actually kill me. Uh, well, maybe not now, but... But I don't really wanna... I don't like overhaul. And, uh, I think that's about it. I showed you guys all the moves. I kind of showed you some combat with each of them. So, I'm going to thank you guys for watching. And, uh, oh yeah. God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.